you guys want some feed. There you go. Your bus is coming early. You got flute practice or band today? Band. Cool beans. Work on getting that tooth out. Love you. Have a good day. I'll see you tonight. The trailer's here for the excavator. Oh, Andy, your food's over there with the ducks. This food is for the chicks. Good morning, chicks. New York City's gonna be coming over here pretty soon. You're gonna have some new friends. Winter is coming. I wonder how that stump burnt up last night. Pluto, this way. Still smoldering. I didn't think it would take off too great, but I bet we dried it out some. Still have quite a bit of grass left in here. Figaro. I, th I think today's the last day we'll be using the excavator. Gonna be going back home pretty soon. Tell you what though, in this apple orchard, this soil is amazing. I don't know if it's from the years and years, or if it's from us having pigs in here or what, but this is some awesome soil. All right guys, I think we're taking down the last four trees right now. We got this birch, that's going out at a nasty angle, and those three, and that'll help open up the pathway that we put through a rock wall. We're coming through with a tractor, any piece of equipment to come this way, that won't be in our way. Right here, we got an oak. I want to try to save that. I don't know if I'll save it and keep it there, or if I'll try to save it and plant it elsewhere on the property. But I've been doing a lot of thinking about trees and replanting, and man, I really want to next spring plant some of our property lines with a bunch of oak trees or chestnuts. I think that'd be awesome to have our boundary lines just peppered with nut trees. These little birch trees should go pretty quickly. And we don't have far to drag their brush or put the logs. Hope I can take down this tree without crushing that oak and without hitting the New York City fence. So I wonder if I can get it to go this way. Let's find out.
branch right now is supporting that whole tree. So we're gonna leave that one until we get the rest cut. I just think birch wood is so beautiful. Even cut up into firewood logs. It's gonna look so pretty in the wood stove. So believe it or not, this rock right here, that's as far as the brush used to come out. I couldn't mow on the other side of that rock. So I, when we first started clearing over here, I wasn't worried about leaving it. Now that I see how much room we gained, I wanna take that rock out. It's probably going to end up being a boulder, but let's find out. rock so big the only way I could get it to budge was pushing it with the push bar in the front of the excavator and then it would finally wiggle a little bit but man that thing was in there good I'm hoping by repositioning over on the other side I can get it out and maybe pull it and get it completely out of the ground but you can see right there that was the best pull I had on that rock couldn't get it. The excavator just doesn't have enough power to lift that rock out. So I decided to dig a hole next to it and bury it and lo and behold, look what I find right next to it. Another big old boulder. <laughs> I'm just like, alright, let's dig and try burying this rock the best we can and at least get it a little bit further back and closer to the rock wall. breaking off some of the roots.
All right, not sure if I gained too much with this rock. I don't think much, maybe a little bit of room, but not enough. <laughs> oh, rocks, rocks, everywhere rocks. We got that one out that we didn't know was there. <sighs> we got our stumps out. That entranceway will be a lot nicer now. I didn't go any further that way with the rock. There was too many rocks to dig out. It was just like, we weren't gaining anything. And the rock was too big for the excavator to take out. <sighs> it's a big rock. I'm working my way back down here on the bottom side of the old apple orchard. Just going through and making sure I got all the stumps out. Smoothing out the deep mud ruts we made the other day. And right there I'm filling in that big old hole we had in the ground from the telephone pole that we took out the other day. I'm just trying to smooth it all up. Get it a little bit better of a rough grade going before the snow comes in and freezes us it freezes us out before winter comes so I want to make sure I get the 6x6 and the telephone pole moved off the lawn so when the snow does end up coming in we have a have them out of our way and we can get down there and plow and shovel without having to worry about hitting them funny when you see a telephone pole sticking up in the sky you don't realize how long it is until you pull it out of the ground and lay it down in front of a fence and it's like wow that thing's pretty long The pigs did such an amazing job on this side of the rock wall cleaning it up that the only thing I really have to do over here is pick up some rocks, stack them up a little bit neater in this one or two stumps that I got to pull. But other than that, the pigs pulled up all the stumps, the roots, and cleaned it up. They did an amazing job on this side. And I think they did such a great job on this side because when we first had the piglets over here, we kept them locked up just in a small section along the side of the rock wall. And then I opened it up to the other side, probably about three months in, to the apple orchard so they had a bigger area to roam. And then right about here, the drone decided to fly into the trees and crash to the ground. So that's going to be about the most drone footage we're going to get for about a week. We got about the best rough grade we're going to get done. We have snow coming in next week, or in a few days I should say. So we're gonna put down some winter rye cover crop. And then come springtime, it'll all die back. And then we'll come in here with our York rake and we'll York rake everything. Look at this. Disgusting. So we gotta go back to Olivia's school tonight. What are they, what's it called? Literacy. Literacy night. So I wanna get a soup cooking, and that way when we come back after dinner time, our normal dinner time, dinner will be ready for us. So Olivia's gonna peel the carrots. All of them? Um, probably six of them. Okay, I was gonna say, why well, do you need all of them? I'm gonna get some butter melted in the Instant Pot. We're gonna saute up some onion, some garlic. Doing good. You can make carrot noodles with this. Carrot noodles? You want to have carrot noodle soup? No. No, I mean, because it has like the outer, but if it was like, if it was. 
Wait, I gotta get a big. If it was this stuff, it would be fine. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, the goats are gonna love you for that, Libby's. Yeah, I'm sure they will. <laughs> The other night I cooked up two chickens, so we'd have chicken to make meals with throughout the night and some good bone broth to make soups and stews and gravy with. I'm gonna add a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. About a teaspoon. We have some pre-cooked rice that was left over from a previous meal. So I'm gonna cook up the soup and then I'll put the rice in and let the rice sit for a few minutes once the soup's cooked and it'll warm up in like 30 seconds. If I put the pre-cooked rice in here, I'll just turn to mush. And we'll cook the soup for seven minutes and then we'll leave it on warm the rest of the time. All right guys, we made it back. I don't know if you can see it right now, but it's snowing out now. We have to turn the camera on. That soup me and Olivia made was delicious. It was a good dinner. It was nice to come home from the literacy night later on and having dinner already made for us. Just scoop it out, eat it. Watch out. Want some chaff, hey? Watch out. There you go. Shut the light off. I just want to encourage us all to be looking forward and think how can we improve ourselves? How can we improve the homestead? How can we improve our skills? How can we improve our life? And, and always be moving forward. Sometimes life is hard and rough. We just can't give up and just keep pushing forward, guys. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. I'm gonna go inside now and warm up by the fire.